Okay. It was over the head, then a little bit over the neck. Take a little piece of velvet. Stick it in the bottom here. Okay, this is a second Tech Ed banjo. I had intended to make this into a dulcie joe, which is an instrument that was invented by a guy named Michael Fox, um, tuned like a dulcimer with three strings, uh, except it had a short chanterelle string that you could, you know, play, uh, you know, you could thumb, so that you had that ringing drone. And then, kind of changed my mind halfway through, so I turned it into a a short scale, a 24 inch scale uh, banjo. The pot is um, a lot smaller as well. It's only uh, 8 inches across. You can see. Eight inches. The pot itself is block rim construction. Uh, it's made of cherry, and then there is a tone ring of bloodwood, and then there's a decorative bottom ring made of bloodwood. Um, this iron strap I actually put on as kind of a, I don't know, it was more going to be decorative as a handle, and as it turned out, um, made me realize why I've seen these kind of bars on 19th century banjos. Well, I don't have this dowel sticked, okay? I had I've got four screws in there, it's hard to see. But it's holding the neck steady, but even with those four screws, there was still some play in the neck. So by putting on this piece of strap iron, I'm stabilizing the neck and then also what I end up doing was able to tension the head a bit because I could bend this bar, which I did a little bit, screw it down, and it pulls the neck forward or backwards, I should say which puts more tension on the on the head and brings the strings lower to the fretboard. So, kind of a rediscovery of an old idea there. <clears throat> yeah, I pulled an all-nighter on this trying to get it finished because uh, I had a tailpiece on it and that was just a disaster. Uh, it kept slipping up and was actually touching the, the head of the banjo, which didn't sound too bad because it was muted, but yeah, it just wasn't going to work. So I ended up going with hitch pins here. And I've got a little piece of uh, rock hard bridge maple here. The strings right over is kind of a nut. A little, little leather there just to protect the edge of the banjo. And I've got a real low bridge. It's basically just a banjo bridge with the feet cut off of it. And uh, the pot's actually, I think it's three. It's three inches. Yeah, I wanted to make it a little deeper after I decided to make it a five string. And um, I subsequently did some reading and heard that centering the bridge helps give you a deeper resonance. Um, I think a Bart Ryder banjo was reading a, a little thing about that. And he ended up using a 24 scale too because he wanted to be able to go between an A scale and a G scale. An A scale banjo is 23. And I've had this tuned up to A too. I've been messing with it. So it, it kind of worked out good. It's in G right now. The neck is poplar. And uh, the uh, fretboard is paddock. It's got a little peg head of, um, with an overlay of Australian lace wood, and uh, it's got some cheap tuners on it, which I'm sorry I did that, but, um, and then I inset this tuner here, instead of using a more expensive fifth string tuner, I just used a regular guitar tuner, and was looking at an old Dobson banjo, 
and saw how they had cut a slot in here for the string to go down into and then just use a drill a hole and use a regular tuner. Of course I had to modify the uh, the tuning peg. I had to cut it down and drill a hole in it and start out with uh, drilling holes here and then chisel and it worked up to a Dremel tool to cut out that little notch there. All in all not too bad. The more I look at stuff like this I mean I look at the the peg head and had had drawn that out and uh, you know I had been inspired by uh, the Buckby type banjos I've seen and I look at how clunky that is now compared to the elegant uh, peg heads of the 19th century but it's all a learning process so well, the, the hide I think is actually goat skin I had tried to dye this in coffee but it was already pretty dark so I may have made it a little darker and these are bronze colored uh, upholstery tacks. Used hide glue to hold the head down as well and then used a, a, a ring of just uh, leather I had. In the... So it turned out pretty well. I was still tweaking it. wanted to do is I wanted to put a frailing scoop in it because boy it really sounds different when you play over the neck you know, which is nice I, I think that's a great idea I know it's a, new, a pretty recent invention but... Thanks for watching.